Hello students, now we are starting with the second chapter that is called as functions of management. What are the different functions in management? So let's begin by understanding the definition of management given by Henry Fayol. Henry Fayol says to manage is to forecast, is to plan, to organize, to command, to coordinate and to control. So guys, if you analyze this definition properly, you will see the different functions of management. Henry Fayol says to manage is to forecast. Forecast ka matlab hota hai future ke baare mein sochna chahiye. Wo hisab se planning karna chahiye. So planning is a function of management. Then to organize means whatever you have planned, uske hisab se you are supposed to organize the different resources that is physical resources, financial resources and also human resources. Then to command, to coordinate. So coordination between different departments is a function and last but not the least is control. Right. In the year 1931, Lathar Galik came up with an acronym POTSCORB, P-O-S-D-C-O-R-B, where P stands for planning, O stands for organizing, S stands for staffing, D stands for directing, CO stands for coordinating, C stands for controlling, R for reporting and B for budgeting. So, ye term may say the first six functions of management we will be learning and that is planning, organizing, staffing, directing, controlling, coordinating. Okay, reporting and budgeting वैसे भी बच्चे लोग तुम्हारे सिलेबस में नहीं है। So guys, let's begin with the very first function of management and that is called as planning. Now, what is planning? अब बच्चे लोग हम लोग सब planning करते हैं, right? अब खास करके planning होता है पढ़ाई का, exam का। जब एग्जाम आता है तो हम लोग सब प्लानिंग करते हैं हमारे पास कितना टाइम है हमारे पास कितने सब्जेक्ट्स हैं मुझे क्या अच्छे से आता है मुझे क्या अच्छे से नहीं आता है और वो हिसाब से आप लोग पढ़ाई का प्लान बनाते हैं और आई होप कि उस प्लान को फॉलो करते हो सो so, प्लानिंग होता क्या है तो प्लानिंग इज डिसाइडिंग इन एडवांस वॉट टू डू हाउ टू डू वेन टू डू एंड हु इज टू डू एट तो प्लानिंग से हमको डिसाइड करने का है कि हमको क्या करना है कब करना है कैसे करना है और ये कौन करेगा प्लानिंग ब्रिजेस द गैप बिटवीन वेर वी आर एंड वेर वी वांट टू गो लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल आपने आपका प्रीलियम्स का एग्जाम दिया और आपको वहां पे समझो 65 परसेंट मिला लेकिन आपका एम है टू गेट 85 परसेंट तो आप कहां पे है 65 पे है जाना कहां पे है 85 पे है ये कहां पे है और कहां पे जाना है ये अगर मालूम होगा तो आपको कितना लंबा छलांग मारना है ये आपको पता चलेगा सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज प्लानिंग ब्रिजेस द गैप बिटवीन वेर वी आर एंड वेर वी वॉन्ट टू गो so planning is all about deciding the goals and finalizing a suitable course of action matlab planning se hum decide karta hai ki hamara objectives kya hona chahiye hamare goals kya hone chahiye aur wo goals tak pahunchne ke liye what is the exact line of action or the course of action that we should be undertaking so we say the planning is the first function of management or the basic function of management and planning is also a detailed program to finalize the future course of action so all in all i would say planning decides what are the goals and how we can achieve those goals so guys let's begin with the different points under importance of planning now the importance of planning is given over here in a diagrammatic format और हम लोग ये डायग्राम के थ्रू हर एक पॉइंट को डिटेल में देखेंगे सो द फर्स्ट वन इज कॉल्ड एज इट हेल्प्स टू सेट क्लियर ऑब्जेक्टिव द फर्स्ट एंड द फॉर्मोस्ट थिंग इन प्लानिंग इज वी डिसाइड दैट व्हाट वी वांट टू अचीव सो बिजनेस को अच्छे से एनवायरमेंटल स्टडीज कर लेना चाहिए और इसके हिसाब से वॉट गोल्स दैट वी वॉन्ट टू अचीव ये डिसाइड कर लेना चाहिए 
राइट right? तो हमारे पास क्या रिसोर्सेस है हमको क्या रिसोर्सेस चाहिए मार्केट में कंपटीशन लेवल क्या है हमारा कंपटीटर कितना स्ट्रांग है ये सब चीज सोचने के बाद व्हाट एग्जैक्टली वी वांट टू अचीव दैट हैज टू बी फाइनलाइज्ड फिर वो प्रोडक्शन का टारगेट्स हो सकता है प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी का रेशियो हो सकता है मार्केट पोजीशन हो सकता है मार्केट शेयर हो सकता है इन एनी टर्म्स द गोल्स could be finalized so in the very first point we see to it that proper and achievable goals are designed okay guys ek bar aapke goals fix ho gaye then the second point is providing a path of action अब गोल्स को अचीव करने के लिए आपके पास मल्टीपल पाथ्स होंगे मतलब आपके पास मल्टीपल ऑप्शंस होंगे जिनको यूज करके आप आपके गोल्स को अचीव कर सकते हो बट एवरी ऑप्शन या एवरी पाथ का कुछ कॉस्ट होता है और उसका कुछ बेनिफिट होता है सो एज अ प्रॉपर मैनेजेरियल पर्सनल यू शुड डू द कॉस्ट बेनिफिट एनालिसिस ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी पाथ और जो पाथ में आपको कम से कम खर्चा हो और ज्यादा से ज्यादा आउटपुट मिलता हो ऐसे पाथ को आपको सिलेक्ट करना चाहिए ऐसे कोर्स ऑफ एक्शन को आपको फाइनलाइज करना चाहिए सो बाय द एंड ऑफ सेकंड पॉइंट क्या क्या हो चुका पहला गोल्स सेट हो गए और पाथ क्या यूज करने का है ये भी फाइनल हो गया राइट right, आगे बढ़ते हैं प्लानिंग इंप्रूव द परफॉर्मेंस so my dear students when you have the goals ready before you aap us hisab se aapka kaam kar sakte ho chalo main aapko ek chhota sa example deta hu india ka cricket match chalu hai aur jab india chase karti hoti hai to virat kohli ka performance hamesha acha hota hai kyun kyunki target kya hai ye pata hai goal jab samne hota hai to hum us hisab se performance karenge so planning mein the first and the foremost thing is to set the goals and when the goals are set we know that what exactly we are supposed to do to achieve those goals and that's how because of planning we can improve our performance okay guys aage badhte hain and that is called as minimizing the risk now in business mein risk to hota hi hai it is always said that profit is the reward of risk bearing business mein risk to hona hi hai but agar aap proper planning karte ho to aap ye risk ko minimize kar sakte ho planning is all about forecasting aage kya ho sakta hai iske bare mein hum sochenge to aage apne paas ya apne samne kya risk aa sakte hai isko aapko analyze karna chahiye aur us hisab se aap taiyari kar lo aur risk ko khatam karo ya usko minimize karo नो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स प्लानिंग से रिस्क एवॉइड नहीं हो सकता रिस्क तो आना ही आना है मतलब रिस्क को अगर आना है तो वो आएगा ही बट वी विल बी रेडी टू फेस द रिस्क और जो भी लॉस होने वाला है वो नहीं होगा सो इट इज बीन सेड दैट प्लानिंग मिनिमाइज दिस द रिस्क बट इट के नॉट एवॉइड द रिस्क Okay let's move on to the next point and that is planning leads to optimum utilization of resources now we all know that resources are limited agar ye limited resources ko maximum use karenge to wo jaldi khatam ho jayega and if you use these resources at a minimum level to wo waste ho jayega to guys resources ko bahut zyada bhi use nahi karna chahiye aur kam use bhi nahi karna chahiye to kya karna chahiye not maximum not minimum but optimum so planning helps you to understand what is the optimum level of resources that you should be doing or you should be using so with the help of optimum use you will also reduce the wastage of the resources ab resources thode bahut to waste honge lekin ye wastage ko aapko minimum level pe rakhna hai and planning helps you to do that Okay now let's move to the next one and that is it helps in decision making 
नाउ प्लानिंग इज अ इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रोसेस ये दिमाग का प्रोसेस है और यहां पे हम लोग क्या करेंगे हम लोग अलग अलग ऑप्शन को इवेल्युएट करेंगे वी विल चेक आउट ऑल द ऑप्शन दैट आर अवेलेबल बिफोर अस हर ऑप्शन में अपना कितना खर्चा होगा और हर ऑप्शन में अपना कितना फायदा होगा ये हम लोग एनालिसिस करने के बाद वी विल टेक द राइट डिसीजन so after planning we always get a right direction so planning helps in decision making okay let's now move on to the next point and that is it is useful in setting the standards for controlling now setting the standards for controlling agar samajhna hai to you need to understand what is controlling तो गाइज एक छोटे से एक्ट से मैं तुमको बताता हूं कि व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इट इज अच्छा प्लानिंग से क्या होता है प्लानिंग से गोल से सेट होते हैं सो लेट्स से दैट दिस इज द लेवल ऑफ गोल दैट वी वांट टू अचीव एंड देन वी एक्चुअली स्टार्ट वर्किंग आवर ऑब्जेक्टिव्स या वर्किंग ऑन आवर प्लान्स अब हमारा परफॉर्मेंस यहां पे खत्म हो सकता है शायद यहां पे खत्म हो और शायद यहां पे भी खत्म हो सकता है सो इफ आवर परफॉर्मेंस इज एट द सेम लेवल वी कैन से दैट वी हैव अचीव्ड आवर गोल्स अगर हमारा परफॉर्मेंस यहां पे खत्म होता है तो इट इज वेरी गुड वी हैव अचीव्ड मोर देन वी रिक्वायर्ड लेकिन बच्चा लोग अगर आपका परफॉर्मेंस यहां पे खत्म होता है तो देर इज अगेटिव डिविएशन सो वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट वॉट आर दॉजेस ऑफ दिस डिविएशन एंड ट्राई टू इंप्लीमेंट अ प्रॉपर सोल्यूशन सो दैट ये जो अपना परफॉर्मेंस गिरा हुआ है उसको हम ऊपर लेके आए और अपने सेट स्टैंडर्ड तक लेके आए सो so गाइस ये कंट्रोलिंग प्रोसेस के लिए स्टैंडर्ड्स का सेट होना बहुत जरूरी है अगर प्लानिंग ही नहीं होता तो स्टैंडर्ड सेट ही नहीं होते फिर ये परफॉर्मेंस हमारा कहाँ पे है इट डज नॉट मैटर सो प्लानिंग इज रियली वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई वुड से इट इज अ मैंडेटरी फॉर कंट्रोलिंग सो प्लानिंग इज यूजफुल इन सेटिंग द स्टैंडर्ड्स फॉर कंट्रोलिंग okay guys we now move on to the next point and that is it facilitates coordination of all the activities now in an organization there are different departments or we can say that there are various business functions finance naam ka function hai purchase hai production hai stores hai marketing sales research and development accounts hr aise bahut sare business functions hote hain ये सब बिजनेस फंक्शंस या डिपार्टमेंट्स को एक दूसरे के साथ कोऑर्डिनेट करना चाहिए देन एंड देन ओनली द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विल मेक प्रॉफिट्स। सो इफ द मैनेजमेंट हैज गॉट अ अप्रोप्रिएट प्लान अगर वो लोग प्रॉपर प्लानिंग करें तो ऑल दिस डिपार्टमेंट्स विल प्रॉपरली कोऑर्डिनेट विद ईच अदर एंड दैट्स हाउ वी विल बी एबल टू अचीव अवर ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल गोल्स ओके fine moving to the next one is called as facilitates other management functions now we have just now seen what are the other management functions after planning there is organizing staffing directing coordinating and controlling so planning agar a proper karega to humko kya resources ko organize karna hai what are the various resources that we want to organize will be, will be made very very clear okay then staffing now what exactly about this staffing if there is a proper plan then we will know how much staff how much employees we exactly want jyada employees agar aate hai to humko faltu ka salary ka kharcha uthana padega agar proper planning hota hai to abhi abhi humne dekha ki it will help us in plans and controlling our performances okay moving to the next one is called as it promotes the innovative ideas now when the plans are ready that means when the goals are ready people in the organization know what they want to achieve and they can think in the same direction so when you know what you are supposed to think you can think in a innovative way and that can help in the betterment of the organization so my dear students these were the 10 different points under the importance of planning so with this we have finished off with the first function of management that is called as planning okay students we are now moving to the second function of management and that is called as organizing 
अब ऑर्गेनाइजिंग का बेसिक मतलब होता है टू ब्रिंग टूगेदर ऑल द डिफरेंट रिसोर्सेस ना वी ऑल नो इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वी रिक्वायर फाइनेंशियल रिसोर्सेस वी रिक्वायर ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेस एंड वी आल्सो रिक्वायर फिजिकल रिसोर्सेस सो ब्रिंग टूगेदर ऑल दिस रिसोर्सेस इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज रेफर्ड टू एज ऑर्गेनाइजिंग अब बच्चा लोग ऑर्गेनाइजिंग का यहां पे मतलब होता है टर्म्स होते हैं ऑर्गेनाइजिंग एज अ प्रोसेस एंड ऑर्गेनाइजिंग एज अ स्ट्रक्चर तो ऑर्गेनाइजिंग एज अ प्रोसेस का अगर हम लोग बात करेंगे तो वी शुड से द फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट थिंग इज वी नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई द एक्टिविटीज दैट हैपन इनसाइड एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन तो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के अंदर कौन से कौन से एक्टिविटीज होने वाले हैं we need to identify that okay after this identification ye activities ke liye jo jo resources lagenge usko humko sath mein lana chahiye usko humko organize karna chahiye then the third part is jo bhi employees hamare yahan pe hai unko properly unke duties samjha dene ka that means you will be dividing all the activities among the employees then the fourth thing is we need to set the relationship between all the employees so who is superior who is subordinate ye aapko pata chalega that means if you have any doubt you should know who is your superior and if you want to delegate any authority or any work then you should know who is your subordinate and all these four things are done so that we can achieve the organizational goals so organizing as a process means identification of activities identifying the resources that are required to fulfill this activities grouping of this activities then establishing the subordinate superior relationship and fifth is so that we can achieve the organizational goals then the second part is nothing but the structure ab organizing as a structure ka matlab hota hai there should be a proper hierarchy set between the different employees who is the superior who is the subordinate ye perfectly set hona chahiye so that the authority can flow very easily from top to bottom and responsibility can easily flow from bottom to top so all in all i can say that organizing is all about bringing together the resources utilizing the resources properly so that the organization benefits okay so let's see organizing is the process of identifying bringing the required resources together ab ye alag alag resources kya hai it is men money material machine methods ye sab hum leke aayenge uske baad hum kya karenge it is all about grouping and arranging them in the proper order so that we can achieve the object Tales. So, my dear students, when we talk about organizing, तुमको पांच terms को अच्छे से याद रखना है. I'm repeating the five terms once again. पहला identification of the activities. दूसरा identifying the resources that are required to fulfill the activities. तीसरा grouping of these activities and allocating them to the right set of people. चौथा setting the relationship between all the employees. That is subordinate relationship ko humko set karna hai and fifth one all these things are required to be done so that we can achieve the organizational goals okay guys so once we have understood what is organizing we can understand what is the tense of organizing so the first and the foremost importance of organizing is it facilitates administration as well as operation guys maine tumko pehle hi bola tha ki organizing ka do matlab hota hai ek to hota hai process aur dusra hota hai structure तो जब हम बोलते हैं फैसिलिटेट्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन दैट मीन्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को हैंडल करना कैसा हाउ वी विल हैंडल अ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन उसके लिए स्ट्रक्चर का होना बहुत जरूरी है एंड ऑर्गेनाइजिंग एज अ स्ट्रक्चर विल फैसिलिटेट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन दैट मीन्स हु विल बी द सुपेरियर हु विल बी द सबॉर्डिनेट मैनेजर कौन असिस्टेंट मैनेजर कौन फर्स्ट लाइन मैनेजर्स कौन फोर मैन कौन सुपरवाइजर्स कौन वर्कर्स कौन इसका proper structure cut होना चाहिए and as well as operation का मतलब होता है process 
और प्रोसेस में हमने क्या पढ़ा था जो भी रिसोर्सेस है उसको जमा करने का उसको एलोकेट करने का और उसके बाद प्रॉपर रिलेशनशिप सेट करके ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल गोल्स को अचीव करने का दैट वॉज आवर फर्स्ट पॉइंट कॉल्ड एज फेसिलिटेट्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एज वेल एज ऑपरेशन ओके मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट वन इज कॉल्ड एज ब्रिंग्स स्पेशलाइजेशन Now, what do we understand by this term? Brings specialization. Now, I just now said that there are five important terms: identification of the activities, grouping of the activities. So, what we are doing is we are dividing all the activities and then we are grouping it according to the nature. Ab all those employees who have got a specific talent or specific qualification qualities, usko wo specific. जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल पीपल आर गुड इन अकाउंट्स तो उनको अकाउंट्स डिपार्टमेंट में जानना चाहिए सम पीपल आर गुड इन कन्विंसिंग तो उनको मार्केटिंग डिपार्टमेंट में डालना चाहिए सो व्हेन वी आइडेंटिफाई द वर्क देन वी ग्रुप दिस पर्टिकुलर वर्क एंड देन वी एलोकेट अ स्पेसिफिक वर्क टू स्पेसिफिक employees so here people will be working in that department or people will be doing the same work again and again they perform the same work again and again they achieve specialization so through organizing we will be able to achieve specialization which will enhance the productivity of our organization okay the third point says it defines the jobs properly again those five points which i said it was nothing but identification of the activities uske baad ग्रुपिंग द एक्टिविटीज अब जब हम एक्टिविटीज को ग्रुप करते हैं तो सिमिलर टाइप ऑफ वर्क को हम साथ में लेके आते हैं और एक पर्सन जो वो एक्टिविटी कर सकता है उसको ये रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी देते हैं सो अ पर्सन नोज दैट एक्सैक्टली वॉट इज एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रॉम हिम सो ही नोज दैट आई हैव टू परफॉर्म सच एंड सच टास्क आई हैव गॉट सच एंड सोर्सेस एंड देन यूजिंग द रिसोर्सेस ही विल बी एबल टू कंप्लीट द task that is referred to as he defines the jobs properly aage badhte hain it clarifies the authority and responsibility now we all know authority flows from top to bottom and responsibility flows from bottom to top lekin uske liye organizing organization mein structure ka hona bahut zaruri hai to organization is also a structure so when we have a proper structure नो कि अथॉरिटी कैसे फ्लो होता है किससे पास से किसके पास तक अथॉरिटी जाता है और रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी कहां से कहां पे जाता है सो व्हेन अ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज गॉट देयर हायर हायर कट डिफाइंड अथॉरिटी कैन फ्लो स्मूथली एंड द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी कैन आल्सो फ्लो स्मूथली टू द नेक्स्ट वन इज कॉल्ड एज इट एस्टैब्लिशेस कोऑर्डिनेशन Now there are different departments working in an organization. ये सब organization के departments में there has to be a proper coordination. अब जब organizing होता है तो सब resources को properly अलग अलग departments में बांटा जाता है All the resources are properly divided between the different departments and that's how these departments will be able to coordinate with each other so we can say that organizing facilitates coordination right moving to the next one is called as it helps in effective administration now this is almost the extension of the very first point facilitates administration if you want to handle the resources of an organization properly then you should have a proper hierarchy set in the employees who is the boss who is the subordinate ye clear cut define hona chahiye so we will be able to control the lower levels of employees properly aur jab employees apne subordinates ko properly control karte hain to pure organization ka administration properly ho sakta hai okay guys now let's move on to the next point and that is it helps for growth and diversification a business ek aisa institution hai which has to grow if a business is not growing it is said to be suffering from an organic defect 
मतलब बिजनेस ग्रो होना ही है और बिजनेस को ग्रो होने के लिए क्या लगता है रिसोर्सेस लगता है यू विल रिक्वायर एडिशनल कैपिटल यू विल रिक्वायर एडिशनल रॉ मटेरियल्स यू विल रिक्वायर मोर मशीन मोर पीपल एंड इट इज ऑर्गेनाइजिंग हु ब्रिंग्स टूगेदर ऑल द रिसोर्सेस दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन so we can say that organizing facilitates growth and diversification also expansion of an organization aage badhte hain it creates a sense of security again guys i am taking you to the five points that i gave you in the introduction okay what were those number 1 in this was called as we will be identifying the activities we will be the activities and activities ko group ke baad hum wahan pe employees ko allot karte hain that means all those employees who will be working for a specific department has got complete knowledge about that department about working of that department matlab unko jo kaam pasand hai unke qualification ke hisab se unke qualities ke hisab se unke liking ke hisab se hum unko ek specific job dete hain so when people does the work which they like the most they are also very happy they think that the organization is helping them organization unka khayal rakhta hai and that's why these people work with application and dedication they have that sense of belongingness in their minds when they are working for the organization okay moving to the next one is called as the scope for innovation अब बच्चा लोग जब किसी को भी अपने पसंद का काम मिलता है तो वो उसमें आर एन डी करेगा उसमें वो दिल लगा के काम करेगा उसमें वो सोचेगा और जब वो सोचता है शायद उसके मन में कुछ अच्छे आइडियाज आ सकते हैं और यही अच्छे आइडियाज इज नथिंग बट समथिंग कॉल्ड एज इनोवेटिव आइडियाज सो वेन पीपल वर्क इन द सेम फील्ड फॉर लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम दे गेट एक्सपर्टीज एंड दे कैन थिंक अबाउट द सेम वर्क फ्रॉम अ डिफरेंट एंगल वेयर दे इन्वेंट सम न्यू आइडियाज so innovative ideas can come in their mind which will be beneficial for an organization okay let's move on to the last point that is called as helps in optimum utilization of resources now resources are scarce they are limited usko zyada bhi use nahi karna chahiye kam bhi use nahi karna chahiye organizing resources ko acche se identify karta hai aur usko alag alag departments mein divide karta hai so that the departments can use the resources properly isse aapke resources ka wastage bhi nahi hoga so that was nothing but something called as organizing moving to the third function of management is called as staffing now what staffing staffing deals with the human resources of an organization now my dear students in an organization there are n number of departments finance department production department purchase department sales department marketing department and so on and all these department have employees to ek organization ke sub departments mein proper employees ko appoint karna is the work of staffing function so staffing is the function of execution according to the plan and organization structure iska matlab ye hota hai ki jab business ke goals decide hote hain to wo goals ko fulfill karne ke liye log chahiye employees chahiye yahi employees ka proper recruitment interviews ke baad unka selection depending upon their क्वालिफिकेशंस एंड क्वालिटीज उनका ट्रेनिंग उसके बाद प्लेसिंग द राइट पर्सन एट द राइट जॉब अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग उसके बाद उनका परफॉर्मेंस अप्रेजल और परफॉर्मेंस के हिसाब से उनका कॉम्पनसेशन कॉम्पनसेशन का मतलब होता है उनको कितना सैलरी देने का प्रमोशन करने का कि नहीं करने का कि ट्रांसफर करने का या फिर उसको डिमोट करने का या टर्मिनेट करने का ऑल सच टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स आर डन इन स्टाफिंग so normally the need of staffing arises at the time of beginning of an organization matlab jab organization shuru hota hai tab alag alag department mein log lagte hain at that point of time staffing ka sabse zyada utilization hota hai 
and over a period of time people retire from the job kuch log job ko chhod ke chale jate hain unko better job mila hoga ya kabhi kabhi kisi ka untimely death ho jata hai then there are vacancies in the organization again the work of staffing starts all those vacancies which are there in the organization has to be filled so again staffing work continues so the most important part of staffing is placing the right person for the right job okay so let's move on to the importance of staffing what staffing can do for our organization so sabse pehla staffing is a effective managerial function That means staffing function अगर आपका ठीक हो तो बाकी सब फंक्शन आपके अच्छे से चलेंगे अच्छा ऐसा क्यों बताता हूं ना प्लानिंग में लोग लगते हैं ऑर्गेनाइजिंग में लोग लगते हैं डिरेक्शन में लोग लगते हैं कोऑर्डिनेशन कंट्रोलिंग में लोग लगते हैं अब ये लोगों को लाना उनको राइट ट्रेनिंग देना उनको उनका काम समझाना राइट टाइप के जॉब को राइट पर्सन को डालना इज द वर्क ऑफ स्टाफिंग मतलब अगर स्टाफिंग का काम अच्छे से हुआ तो बाकी सब फंक्शन ऑफ मैनेजमेंट प्रॉपरली परफॉर्मेंस देंगे दैट्स व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज एन इफेक्टिव मैनेजेरियल फंक्शन ओके गाइस मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज इट लीड्स टू इफेक्टिव यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेस नाउ इन स्टाफिंग द मैनेजर हैज टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द टोटल रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स और एम्प्लॉयज इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन उनका प्रॉपर रिक्रूटमेंट उनका प्रॉपर सिलेक्शन उनका प्रॉपर ट्रेनिंग होना चाहिए उसके बाद वी विल बी प्लेसिंग द राइट पर्सन फॉर द राइट जॉब दैट मीन्स वट एवर आर द ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेस अवेलेबल विथ अस उसको प्रॉपरली डिपार्टमेंट वाइज और ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के गोल्स के वाइज सेग्रीगेट करना चाहिए डिवाइड करना चाहिए सो स्टाफिंग हेल्प्स इन प्रॉपर यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ द ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेस the third point says it all it also helps in building the cordial relationship now cordial relationship ka matlab hota hai there should be a good relationship between the different employees working in different departments so now when people are appointed purely on their merits when people are uh, put in different departments depending upon their likes and dislikes of a job then people will do their job with great care log apna kaam dil laga ke karenge and they will maintain a very good relationship with our fellow employees and also with the other departments so selection of right people helps to bring a good friendly cordial relationship between the employees in an organized okay guys moving to the fourth point it says it helps in human resource development now good employees are always an asset for an organization to jo log apne yahan pe bahut saalon se kaam kar rahe hai they will train the newly recruited employees jo naye employees business mein aate hai unko गाइड करते हैं उनको ट्रेन करते हैं और उनको प्रॉपर डायरेक्शन देते हैं सो स्टाफिंग आल्सो हेल्प्स इन हैविंग अ गुड ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम तो जो नए एम्प्लॉयज आते हैं उनको हम प्रॉपरली डेवलप करेंगे सो दैट दे कैन वर्क फॉर द बेटरमेंट ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन then moving to the fifth point it says helps in effective use of technology and other resources now guys we all know that we are living in the era of internet and computers so the people that are newly recruited inside an organization should have good knowledge about all this technology तो स्टाफिंग क्या करता है स्टाफिंग ऐसे लोगों को रिक्रूट करता है ऐसे लोगों को अपॉइंट करता है हु हैव गॉड गुड नॉलेज ऑफ द लेटेस्ट टेक्नोलॉजी सो द पीपल वर्किंग इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कैन यूज द टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर द बेटरमेंट ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इसके अलावा बाकी और भी टेक्निकल रिसोर्सेस एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के पास हो सकते हैं जैसे कि टोटली ऑटोमेटेड मशीन अब ये टोटली ऑटोमेटेड मशीन को यूज करने के लिए भी राइट फ्रेम ऑफ माइंड वाले एम्प्लॉयज चाहिए विच आर ब्रॉट इन इन साइड एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बाई द फंक्शन ऑफ स्टाफिंग 
right moving to the sixth point is called as it improves the efficiency now guys what is efficiency efficiency is the relationship between the input and output मतलब बिजनेस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से देखेंगे तो इट इज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द कॉस्ट्स एंड द रिटर्न्स इसका मतलब होता है कम से कम कॉस्ट में अपने को ज्यादा से ज्यादा रिटर्न्स निकालना है सो so, स्टाफिंग से एफिशिएंसी कैसे बढ़ता है स्टाफिंग राइट right टाइप के लोगों को प्रॉपर क्वालिफाइड लोगों को प्रॉपर क्वालिटीज वाले लोगों को ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में पंप इन करता है एंड दीज पीपल who are in a right state of mind who are qualified who have got good experience will use all the resources properly wo log wastages nahi karenge ya wastages ko kam karenge and that's why with basic or minimum time or with minimum money they will be able to give maximum output and in this way the employees efficiency will increase resulting in organizational efficiency okay then move to the next one that is called as a long term effect now people when they are recruited in an organization they stay in the organization for a longer period of time तो अगर स्टाफिंग ने राइट टाइप ऑफ लोगों को ही अगर रिक्रूट किया उनको प्रॉपर ट्रेनिंग दिया देन दीज पीपल विल वर्क फॉर द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विथ हार्ट एंड सोल सो वी विल बी गेटिंग अ गुड सेट ऑफ एम्प्लॉयज फॉर अ लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सो द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नीड नॉट वरी फॉर इयर्स टुगेदर अबाउट देयर प्रोडक्शन एंड अबाउट देयर प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी दैट्स वाई स्टाफिंग हैज गॉट अ लॉन्ग टर्म इफेक्ट on an organization then staffing also has a essential contribution now every department in an organization has employees agar har department acche se kaam karta hai to iska matlab ye hai ki har department ke log acche se kaam karte hai aur ye acche se kaam karne wale log organization ke andar kaun lata hai to iska jawab hai staffing so staffing has got a very important role to be played for the betterment of an organization for well being of an organization so when staffing brings in the right people trains them properly gives them the idea about their work when they place the right person at the right job people work well all the department works well and the organization grows and that's why we say that staffing plays a essential role or it gives a essential contribution in the development of an organization okay guys let's move to the next one and that is called as it provides job satisfaction ab kisi bhi employee ko job satisfaction kab milta hai when a person derives satisfaction when he works or when he does that work which he likes so staffing does the same thing it understands what a person is capable of what a person likes kaun se bande ko kya kaam pasand hai and staffing puts that person in that particular work so when people do the work that they like they derive job satisfaction aur unko apne pasand ka kaam milta hai to unka efficiency bhi badhta hai aur isse organizational efficiency bhi badhta hai and then the last point is called as it maintains harmony harmony means there is a good relationship among the employees there are no disputes between the employees so staffing ensures that whatever promotions are given whatever hike in salary is given is completely based on the performance of the employees staffing ensures ki yahan pe koi partiality hota nahi hai जो भी बंदे को हाइक मिलता है या सैलरी मिलता है ये उसके मेहनत के ऊपर या उसके क्वालिटीज के ऊपर मिलता है सो वेन एवरी एम्प्लॉय नोज कि वॉट एवर आई हैव गॉट आई एम टोटली रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर इट तो वो दूसरों को ब्लेम नहीं करते दूसरे डिपार्टमेंट के साथ या दूसरे एम्प्लॉयज के साथ इनका कोई डिस्प्यूट नहीं होता एंड दैट्स हाउ वी मेंटेन अ वेरी फ्रेंड रिलेशनशिप और अ कॉर्डियर रिलेशनशिप और वी मेंटेन हार मनी इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो गाइज विथ दिस आई हैव फिनिश्ड ऑफ दॉइस स्टाफिंग एंड द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ स्टाफिंग we are now starting with the fourth function of management and that is called as directing 
Now guys, directing is called as the soul of management. It is one of the most important functions of management because organization ka kaam shuru hi hota hai direction se. Now, when we talk about direction, there are three important things to be understood in direction. Now, in direction, the person should lead. That means you should be a good leader. You should lead by an example. Jo kaam tum dusre ko bolne wala hai, wo kaam tum ko khud ko pehle se aana chahiye. Then, the next thing is proper guidance. A director should give proper guidance to his subordinates. Now, a subordinate may have n number of problems. They may have n number of doubts. So, a director or a superior should understand the problems of the subordinate and guide them to solve his problems. And then, the last one is called as motivation. A director or a superior should always motivate his employees or subordinates to do their work in a better manner and to achieve the goals that are being set before them. So guys, in direction, there are three important things, leading, guiding and motivating. And then the last part in direction is supervision. Supervision is an integral part of direction. क्योंकि जब हम गाइडेंस देते हैं और वो हिसाब से जब सबॉर्डिनेट काम करता है तो उसके ऊपर हमको प्रॉपर सुपरविजन रखना है दैट इज वेदर ही इज वर्किंग प्रॉपरली और नॉट सो दैट वाज नथिंग बट समथिंग कॉल्ड एज द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ डायरेक्शन सो गाइस नाउ लेट्स बिगिन विद द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ डायरेक्टिंग द फर्स्ट वन इन दिस इज कॉल्ड एज इट इनिशिएट्स एक्शन गाइस आप लोगों ने शूटिंग देखा होगा फिल्म का जब डायरेक्टर एक्शन बोलता है तब सामने फिल्म का काम चालू हो जाता है इन द सेम वे इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आफ्टर द इंस्ट्रक्शंस आर रिसीव्ड बाय द सुपीरियर द सबऑर्डिनेट्स स्टार्ट वर्किंग दैट मींस द एक्शन इज इनिशिएटेड ओनली आफ्टर गेटिंग प्रॉपर इंस्ट्रक्शंस फ्रॉम द सुपीरियर एंड ओनली आफ्टर द सुपीरियर गाइड्स लीड्स मोटिवेट्स द सबऑर्डिनेट्स द वर्क कैन बी स्टार्टेड सो वी से द डायरेक्शन initiates action okay moving to the second point is called as it integrates the efforts now aise maan ke chalo film mein ek fight scene hai to hero villain ke beech mein fight chal raha hai dono ke beech mein proper coordination hona chahiye hero ne fight marne ke baad villain girna chahiye matlab dono ke efforts mein proper integration hona chahiye aur ye integration lata hai director so guys from the point of view of an organization there are n number of departments working in an organization so these departments has to integrate their work together ya hum aisa bol sakte hai ek department ke andar multiple employees kaam karte hai ye employees ka jo efforts hota hai unke beech ka integration lata hai director director will give proper direction to different employees in the same department or in different different departments or uske instruction ke hisab se jab kaam chalega so automatically the efforts will be properly coordinated or integrated okay moving to the next one is called as the means of motivation now all those employees who are positively motivated will work hard for the organization so it is the responsibility of the director to keep the employees motivated iske liye wo alag alag measures ko use karega like he will give them higher pay scale he will give them good working conditions he will give them appreciation awards and rewards and when people are motivated obviously they will work better they will work harder so direction is a means of motivation for the employees okay moving to the next point is called as it provides stability in an organization stability in an organization means the working of the organization is 
smooth there are no problems within the departments there are no strikes everything is going on smoothly and such things are ensured by a proper superior yahan pe superior matlab director ऑल रिसोर्सेस को प्रॉपरली हैंडल करता है वो सब एम्प्लॉयज को प्रॉपरली हैंडल करता है सबको प्रॉपर गाइडेंस देता है सबको राइट टाइप ऑफ गोल्स देता है और उनसे काम करवाता है सो पीपल हैव नो ग्रजेस अगेंस्ट ईच अदर दे वर्क विथ कोऑर्डिनेशन विथ ईच अदर एंड दे वर्क टूवर्ड्स द बेटरमेंट ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो दैट्स हाउ डायरेक्शन प्रोवाइड्स स्टेबिलिटी इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन then direction also helps in coping up with the changes now guys you all know that environment mein changes hote rehte hain government rules and regulations change hote hain technological changes hote hain customer taste and preferences mein changes aata hai so when the environment changes it has to be properly adopted by an organization matlab humko hamare organization mein bhi appropriate changes lana padega से फॉर एग्जाम्पल इंटरनेट एंड कम्युनिकेशन टेक्नोलॉजीज आज इतना पॉपुलर हो गया है कि एवरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज एडॉप्टिंग टू इट सो इट इज द डायरेक्शन विच विल हेल्प द एम्प्लॉयज टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट चेंजेस आर रिक्वायर्ड इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड इट इज द डायरेक्टर हु विल बी मोटिवेटिंग हिस एम्प्लॉयज टू एडॉप्ट टू द चेंज ही विल मेक दैम अंडरस्टैंड द नीड ऑफ चेंज एंड ही विल मेक दैम एक्सेप्ट द चेंज ओके moving to the next one is called as effective utilization of resources now we all know that resources are limited okay usko zyada use karega to khatam hoga kam use karenge to waste honge so all these resources basically is used by the employees so if the employees get proper direction regarding how to use the resources the use of the resources will be in a better manner direction ensures that all the resources are used at a optimum level no maximum use and no minimum use okay guys so we are now moving to the next point and that is called as creates team spirit now humne functions of management ke pehle padha tha principles of management tabhi bhi humne aisa padha tha ki team spirit spirit decops given by henry ford so there has to be a team spirit people should not see themselves as a individual person working for an organization but they should see themselves as a big workforce they should cooperate with each other they should help each other they should work as a team sab workers ke beech mein ye team spirit ko paida karna is the work of the director director will communicate with them director will guide them director will lead by an example director will motivate them to work together as a cohesive unit and then and then only the organization will perform better so creation of the team spirit is one of the important points of direction Okay guys moving to the next one is it explores the capabilities of individuals bachcha log aisa bolte hai ki hire ki sahi keemat hire ko nahi pata hoti hai wo johri ko pata hoti hai in the same way what employees are capable of kaun se employee mein kya gun chupa hai ye sirf uske superior ko pata hota hai so the superiors or boss or i would say the director understands what a employee a specific employee is best at he can convince that person that what good points i find in you and you should take up a person a particular responsibility and that's how employees are motivated to take up the bigger challenges and high task of work and that's how we explore the capabilities among the individuals okay moving to the next one is it increases the efficiency level this is the same old point efficiency is the relationship between the costs and the returns if employees get proper direction if employees are properly motivated if employees know that they are being supervised then they will not undertake any wastage wo time waste nahi karenge wo resources ko waste nahi karenge balki wo jo bhi resources available hai uska sahi इस्तेमाल करेंगे एंड दैट्स हाउ द वेस्टेजेस ग्रो 
goes down and that's how the efficiency level increases. And last but not the least is cooperation. Direction brings proper cooperation between all the employees in an organization. When all the employees are properly guided by the director, director sees to it that there will be a proper cooperation between all the employees. So guys, with this, I have finished off with something called as directing. The next function of management is called as coordination. Now guys, coordination is also called as an important function of management. Why? Now, in an organization, there are different departments. Yeah, alag alag departments ke beech mein proper coordination hona chahiye. And in an organization, there are also different levels of management. There has to be a proper coordination between different levels of management. That means we say the top level management coordinates the activities of the middle level management. Middle level management coordinate the activities of the lower level of management. So guys, in an organization, ye sub departments, jo Alag -alag type ka kaam karta hai. they should help each other, they should cooperate with each other. Then and then only, her department will be able to give a proper output and so the organization will be able to give a better output. So we say that organization is the integration and synchronization of the effort of a group. So, a group ke andar jab bahut departments hote hain ya ek group ke andar jab bahut sare employees hote hain to har ek ka kaam ek dusre ke sath synchronize hona chahiye ek kaam dusre kaam ko chalu karna chahiye sab kaamon ke beech mein proper coordination ya integration hona chahiye and that is ensured by coordination and that's why it is rightly said that coordination is the essence of management okay guys we are now moving with the importance of co coordination number one it encourages team spirit now coordination will be managing all the activities within different departments within different employees Okay, now employees ko agar properly unka kaam samjhayenge, to unke beech ka jo conflicts hai, ya kuch disputes honne ka chances hai, ya nullify ho jata hai. Aur agar kuch disputes ho bhi jate hai, to usko easily solve kar sakte hai. That means when there are no disputes in an organization between the employees in an organization, obviously there would be a team spirit. And that's how coordination encourages team spirit. Then, coordination gives proper direction. Now, how exactly we can say that? Ab jab coordination hota hai, to alag alag departments ek dusre ke saath coordination mein kaam karta hai. Ek department ka input dusre department ka output ban sakta hai. Ya mujhe aisa bolna chahiye, ek department ka output dusre department ka input ban sakta hai. So, when there is proper coordination, all departments will be smoothly functioning and that's how they work together towards a common goal. That is how they will be working together in a proper direction. So, we can say that coordination gives proper direction. Then, coordination facilitates motivation. Now, in an organization, as I told you, that there are different departments working together. Now, when her department supports one department, or support her employee supports one support karta hai, to the work level ka jo satisfaction hai, that will be very high. People will be motivated to help each other, to work towards the betterment of each other. So, well-coordinated employees are highly motivated. Moving to the next one is called as optimum utilization of resources. When there is proper coordination between employees, and between different departments, whatever resources we have, that will be used in the best possible manner. The wastages of resources can be minimized. Then, when there is proper coordination, agar koi duplication of work hota hai, to usko hum rok sakte hai, usko hum minimize kar sakte hai. And that's why coordination 
will help us to use the available resources in a optimum manner. Then it helps to achieve organizational objective. Now, uh, organization has got some common goals. Now, these common goals are not in a specific department or in a set of employees. Ke kaam karne se hasil nahi honge. Entire organization, all the departments, all the employees should work together towards that common goals. And for making everyone work together for a common goal, they should be properly guided. Their activities should be properly synchronized or coordinated. That's why coordination helps in achieving organizational objectives. It also helps in improving the relationship between the employees. It is very simple. If people are helping each other, obviously, they will be developing a good relationship. Like every department is dependent upon some another department. Just say, for example, purchase is dependent upon finance. Production is dependent upon purchase. Sales is dependent upon production. And again, finance is dependent upon sales. So, when we are dependent on one dependent on the other, we do not do it. Our relationship is good. So, coordination helps to improve the relationship. Next point says, it leads to higher efficiency. When we are a well-coordinated unit, our wastages will be minimum. Time wastage will be less. Resources wastage will be less. And that's how our efficiency will be higher. Hum log kam se kam input mein jada se jada output nikal sakte hai. That is how we say it leads to higher efficiency. Then, coordination improves the goodwill. Now, because of all the previous points like getting proper direction, employees are motivated, resources achhi tarike se use karte hai, sab log milke organizational goals ko achieve karte hai, to uski wajah se humare organization ka goodwill bhi market mein achha hi hoga. So, coordination helps to improve the goodwill in an organization. Coordination also provide unity of direction. Every department knows what is to be done. Every department knows that how their activities will help other department. And every department will know that what help we will get from other department. So basically, everyone is following a common plan. And following a common plan under one head is called as unity of direction. And then the last one is called as specialization. In an organization, a specific department is headed by a manager. This manager is highly capable, specialized, talented. So he will guide his particular employees to work in a specific manner. Har department ka banda apne department ke liye dil laga ke kaam karta hai. And that's how when people are properly directed by good managers who have good coordination among each other will be working in a better manner and they will achieve specialization. So with this, my dear students, we have finished off with the function of coordination. Right, guys, we are now starting with the last function of management and that is called as controlling. So controlling basically means to control the activities that are happening inside an organization. Now, controlling karne ke liye planning ka hona bahut zaruri hai. Wo kyu? Ab planning mein kya hota tha? Planning mein hum log goals ko set karte the. Aur phir controlling se hum log humare performance ko check karte hai ki humara performance exactly kidar hai. Agar humara performance yaha pe hai, to hum log bolenge we have achieved what we had planned. अगर हमारा परफॉर्मेंस इधर है तो डेविएशन तो है लेकिन ये पॉजिटिव डेविएशन है हमने जितना सोचा उससे ज्यादा पाया बट इफ योर परफॉर्मेंस इज ओवर हियर देन वी नो दैट देर इज अ डेविएशन देर इज अ नेगेटिव डेविएशन एंड देन वी शुड ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट व्हाट वेयर द प्रॉब्लम्स प्रॉब्लम्स को फाइंड करके उसका जो सॉल्यूशन है उसको इंप्लीमेंट करके ये परफॉर्मेंस को हम ऊपर उठाएगा टिल आवर प्लैंड गोल्स अब ये जो एक्टिविटी है टू सेट द गोल्स देन कंपेयर द एक्चुअल परफॉर्मेंस फाइंडिंग द डिविएशन फाइंडिंग द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द डिविएशन इंप्लीमेंटिंग द सॉल्यूशन एंड ब्रिंगिंग द परफॉर्मेंस टू द प्लान लेवल इज कॉल्ड एज कंट्रोलिंग 
so controlling is very very effective if there is proper planning so we say that controlling is a function of comparing the actual performance with the predetermined standards and if at all there are any deviations then ye deviations ko measure karke uska solution nikal ke solution ko implement karke ye deviations ko nullify karna chahiye so that was nothing but something called as controlling now guys let's try to understand the importance of controlling so controlling helps to fulfill the goals of an organization okay to hum log jab goals ko set karte hai to control process ye dekhta hai ki hamare goals fulfill ho rahe hai ki nahi hamara performance hamare goals ke hisab se chal raha hai ki nahi humne jo goals ko set kiya hai jo standards ko set kiya hai wo standard ke hisab se apna performance ho raha hai ki nahi ho raha hai agar nahi ho raha hai to hum corrective measures ko implement karke hamare performance ko standards tak leke aayenge that means controlling helps in fulfilling the goals of an organization then controlling makes efficient utilization of resources bhai hamare jo bhi resources hai usko humko acche se use karne ka hai na maximum use karne ka hai na minimum use karne ka hai uska proper use karne ka hai so when there is proper control in an organization the wastages that might happen in an organization will not happen duplication of work might not happen and that's how we are able to make proper utilization of the resources then controlling ensures accuracy of the standards now when we set the goals it is nothing but the standard set okay to controlling ye ensure karta hai ki humne jo standard set kiya hai wo accurate hai kyunki agar isme gadbade to aapka performance kahan pe hai ye aap judge nahi kar paoge so when the set standard is right then you can say that i have achieved what i wanted i have achieved more than i wanted and i have not achieved what i wanted agar yahi galat hua to hamare performance measurement accurate nahi hoga so control all assures that the standards are set perfectly guys moving to the next one is called as it motivates the employees the top level management or the superiors will always see to it that your performance is up to the mark they will supervise you properly so that you can bring your actual performance to the required standards so when the employees know that they are been watched that they are been properly supervised the employees will work harder they are motivated to work better so that the organizational efficiency can be achieved then the next point says it ensures order and discipline now control is all about maintaining a professional discipline in an organization कंट्रोलिंग में सब टूल्स एंड इक्विपमेंट्स के ऊपर भी प्रॉपर कंट्रोल होता है सब चीज अपनी जगह पे होना चाहिए कोई भी चीज का वेस्टेज नहीं होना चाहिए सो कंट्रोलिंग एंश्योर्स प्रॉपर ऑर्डर एंड डिसिप्लिन इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कंट्रोलिंग ऑल्सो फैसिलिटेट्स प्रॉपर कोऑर्डिनेशन now when all the departments will work properly then and then only the organization will prosper so control mein sab departments properly perform kar raha hai ki nahi ye dekhna bahut zaruri hai and so when we are keeping a watch on all the departments basically we are trying to coordinate between all the departments then controlling also maintains a psychological pressure controlling se hum log organizational objectives ko set karta hai in short hum log employees ke liye targets ko set karte hain so employees feel that pressure of fulfilling the target and that's why they have to work harder they have to work better for fulfilling the targets and that's how controlling can maintain a psychological pressure on all the employees next point says it ensures organizational efficiency and effectiveness i have said about this point many times efficiency is the relationship between the costs and the returns humko kam se kam cost mein zyada se zyada output dena hai 
कॉस्ट को कम करने के लिए हमको वेस्टेजेस को कम करना चाहिए सो so, कंट्रोल से वेस्टेजेस कम होंगे कंट्रोल से मिनिमम इनपुट में मैक्सिमम आउटपुट मिलेगा एंड दैट्स हाउ कंट्रोलिंग एंश्योर्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल एफिशिएंसी then it builds a good corporate image so when the targets are properly set when people are motivated when people are disciplined when there is proper coordination in an organization so people will work with their heart and soul out and that's how we will be able to achieve the organizational goals aur hum jab hamesha apne goals ko achieve karte rahenge to apna image in the market apna goodwill will be higher and controlling also acts as a guide controls the activities of the employees in an organization matlab agar employee kuch galat raste pe chal raha hai ya uska kaam karne ka tarika galat hai to control usko pakad ke wapas sahi raste pe leke aata hai control will see supervise the activities of a subordinate and if he is going wrong somewhere then he will be guided and brought back to the track that's how controlling acts as a guide so with this guys i have finished off with the last function of management that is called as controlling and also i have finished off with the second chapter that is called as functions of management